Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode of my journey to Diamond 1. And this one we're sitting at Diamond 2, 87 LP. So we're almost done the journey, actually. We're just, uh, yeah, we can actually potentially finish it on this episode. We're one win from promos, gotta win promos, fingers crossed. And that's it, the journey is done. We got to Diamond 1 because, honestly, at this point, I might as well just rename the series to Journey to Diamond 1. This is this is getting kind of ridiculous. So, all that being said and done, let's jump into it and let's play some League of Legends. And let's get that damn Diamond 1 already. Let's go, boys. Let's do it. All right, guys, game number one is about to begin. Ended up giving mid to this guy because he doesn't play any adc whatsoever so i mean i honestly don't mind playing adc as long as i can play Jin or uh kaisa unfortunately kaisa did get banned uh so a little bit unfortunate if i, if I go kaisa I, I honestly feel just as confident playing adc as i do playing mid lane like i i just honestly think the champion is completely broken with the with the you know the the, the death dance build and whatnot you really don't have to be even that good on her like, it's just it's just so fucking broken anyways let's get this party started boys let's go Dude, the Akali's actually getting shut on. Okay. Ah, this he got her. I, 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 that was kind of my fault though. I don't know. I just ran right onto her fucking dagger. This is getting pretty, uh, pretty unfortunate though. The Akali's actually just dying to this team a lot now. So I don't know what she's gonna do about this lane anymore. Dude, we need to make some like we need to get this tower or some shit, man. Like I don't know. My work Come on, man. Nice. Oh, that's really good. That was really fucking good for us. Woo, that was good. That's what I'm talking about. We have like massive pick potential. Like Morgana lands a Q. Ryze just presses W in the snares. I follow up with my, you know, W. Like we have, we can make one person sit there for so long. The only issue is, of course, if Tom catches beside them and eats them up, you know, a little bit unfortunate, but. I actually can't believe I was auto range. Out of range for her. all I need to do is get the one auto on the on the Katarina. She was dead. Akali needs to get just a tiny bit more in range to get an ult. The Katarina got very lucky there. Very very lucky Katarina. Swanee's down here. Dude, we can't quit these fights, like... Like, I don't know why we're just like running in there like trying so hard to force these fights, like... My R's not up 10 seconds, like why can't we just wait for the ultimate? You know what I mean? Just wait for the ultimate to come up. I'll attack him, I'll attack him! I'll attack him! Fucking auto attack him, you have red buff just auto attacking me. Oh my god. Yeah, we're just getting pummeled up the ass here. Can't do anything.
Alright, Akali just straight up, uh, st literally just straight up ultied in there and suicided. Okay, good, good, good. Very good, very good. That's what I like to see. Mm. Yep. yep, perfect. Not perfect. Hey, Alright guys, the second game is about to begin. For this one, we're playing Twisted Fate in the mid lane against uh, Yasuo, it looks like. Now, their ADC apparently is a smurf with, uh, with a pretty uh, pretty nice win rate, actually. So, gonna be uh, an interesting one. We'll see what happens. Uh, we have Mr. Hashinshin himself, Mr. Riot Ponytail, chilling in the top lane on his patented... Clad top, so very excited to see how that works out here. Let's get this party started, boys. Oh shit, the Hashinshin though with the clad top though. No assist from the jungler either. Damn, that's that's my boy right there. Let's go. There we go. Yo, the super top of Shinshin is carrying me right now, boys. Let's go. That's I don't I did not expect a Shinshin to dumpster this guy a, a singe one trick with his clad. I've never seen him play clad before. Apparently his clad is clean as all. Who knows? Who would have thought? Damn our ball just got pooped on. I actually feel like maybe I should have TP with the Shinshin down there. It was not a bad TP. I don't know if he expected me to TP with him or not though, or if he just kind of YOLO'd it. But I feel like if I came with him, we could have actually done some work there. Damn, my Shinshin's actually going full clean right now. Like, so clean, holy shit. Nice, boys, let's go! Nice, every single lane is doing really well. Like, if, if my lanes are doing well, that makes TF so powerful. Because I can just consistently keep TPing places and just getting, like, a lot of shit done. Just super, super nice. Dude, Hachinchin is actually popping off. Like, he's seriously popping off really fucking hard. Damn, Hashinshin is indeed the super top, baby. Or this Lynch just sucks dick. I don't know, man. Let's do it. Oh, they can't stop us. Like, we're so strong. Okay. What? This Warwick actually just gave away a free fucking Baron. Like, that Baron was absolutely free. Kaiser is actually a fucking disgusting champion. Woo! GG, boys. All right, I, I honestly was really worried that game. Actually, I've never seen a Shishin play Kled before. He seemed like he was on tilt based on his match history. And I have a, a, apparently a really good ADC on the enemy team, a Smurf. But you know what? It's always very strange. It's always the games that you expect to lose. Like you actually end up winning in League of Legends. It doesn't make any sense. But you know what? I'm happy we won. I want to give it to Hashinshin. I think he, play, he played well. He played well that game. He deserved that W for sure. And now we are back to being one win away 
from being in promos, boys. Let's go. Let's do it. Alright guys, the next game is about to begin. This one, once again, like the first game, brings us into the promos to Diamond 1 if we win it. I mean, the TF game felt pretty nice. I mean, you know, it did help that my team was, uh, honestly, the better team. Yeah, TF is good, complimenting a good team, and also he's not bad when it comes to trying to take a losing lane and, you know, kind of winning it for them, right? Because you can just TP in there and help them now. Fortunately, we're up against Italia. Luckily for us, she doesn't have cleanse, but Italia also known to be, of course, uh, a pretty solid roaming champion. And Jenna might be able to just walk this off. Nice. She actually just walked it off. Beautiful. How the Morgana missed her uh, Q ability there is beyond me, but you know what? How did Morgana miss the Q? The Janna didn't even flash. The Morgana must have just straight up whiffed it or some shit. Or did she go W? Or I don't even see. Nice. Fuck yeah. Holy shit, that was close. Nice, good run, good run. The Jax roams mid, we get a kill. Yo, I'll repay the favor, I'll teleport top. And we'll get the kill. Wait, that's actually okay. Wait, that's actually OP. All I have to do is just throw my stun card, and that gives Kai'Sa a free dash. Wait, that's actually broken combo. What the fuck? I didn't even think about that. That's really strong. This Ryan can't stop us. We can get this tower. Nice, let's go. Every lane's winning except for bot lane. Every single lane's winning except for bot. Beautiful. No. I fucked up so fucking hard! I mean, I, no, I would've lived. I would've lived if I, 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 I somehow misclicked my Q and I missed it. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm like 90% sure if I did not do that, I was actually going to live. Because the Kaelin wouldn't have got that much damage on me, and I would have been able to be under the tower. And if Rangar jumped in to kill me there, I probably would have died, but then he would have been in a bad position, and he probably would have died as well. Fuck, I tried to flash, stun the Riven with my Q flying so that I was hoping that my flash would actually distract Morgana and she would walk into my Q that was already flying. I was hoping that that would work, but it didn't work. It would have been pretty slick though. It would have been pretty cool. You always go Rabidons, almost always go Rabidons. If they have a lot of Assassins, then you go Zhonya's, but I mean, they have Rengar. I, I don't really care about him. He doesn't do anything to me, so. So it's essentially here, you just go for the juicy uh, Rabidons. And the second I finish that thing, like, I will be, I'll be pretty much an Assassin. Like, I'll just be super fed. Really, really strong. Really good to go. So, pretty excited for that, actually. Two five, two five, two five, two five, two five, two five. Okay. She had no black shield, she just used it on Rengar, so pretty free us then. This is where I can just zone them out pretty easily. Check it out. Look at the zone. Like they can't what are they gonna do? Okay, okay, she's gonna get okay, you know what? Maybe she'll do that, but either way, I guess it's the tower, that's all that matters. I mean, okay, I can't be myself here. She's gonna wall me off if I walk over too much. That's, that's why I love TF. That right there is such a good example as to why I absolutely love this champion sometimes. You just, you cannot be out of position ever. Like you ever, like never. You just cannot be out of position. TF just ults and you're dead. That's it. You're, you're gone. <laughs> the second the black shield runs out. Nice. Nice. S plus and Twisted Fate. 
damage done is not the highest, unfortunately. Kaisa is the highest. But you know what? You know what? Kaisa is a broken champion, so it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. So either way, guys, that's going to be it's gonna be it rather uh, for this video. There you have it. I mean, you know what? We're finally back into the promos for Diamond 1. So there's that, which is a very, very good thing. If you enjoyed this video, then please definitely hit that like button. I'll play the promos on the next episode because it's getting late. I'm getting hungry. It's 9.20 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and peace out for the night. But again, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next one as we play out the promos. Fingers crossed. Let's go, boys. Let's go.